So another new supplier selling fake NMN. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a comment of a gentleman goes by the name of Daniel prompted this latest review. Enough of filling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new NMN supplier has got to offer. So this week's company selling NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide is Cribubble. This is their logo and you can see unfortunately it's quite a low quality logo. That's because the only place I could find it was actually on the product, on the product page on Amazon. So I had to crop it from there, but more on that later. Uh, this is the comment from Daniel. He's the gentleman that com contacted me and alerted me to this company to begin with. Again, more on that later. So, Crew Bubble, will this company be a diamond or will it be a Fugazi? Time will tell. Let's jump in and see what Crew Bubble have got to offer. So how long have they been trading? Well, I look for a crewbubble.com and a crewbubble.org and a .io, but all I could find is this trademark application in the name of Crewbubble. And if we scroll down, you can see here highlighted in blue is the date the 4th, uh, sorry, the 6th of April 2021. So at the time of making this video, the application for trademark was registered four months ago. Now, they may have been trading before that. Um, let me know if you think I've misread it, but it looks like this company is around four to six months old. Um, they also have an Amazon page, which we'll come back to later. They have an eBay page, although that seems to look like it's not being used anymore. And they've got an eBay page in Jordan. Um, they did have a page called on a Netherlands website called Pick Click, but that's completely disappeared. So I'm not too sure what went, what went on there. Um, so they seem to be everywhere apart from a .com, and they seem to be hanging around on websites that they can just disappear from, and it's very difficult for you to contact them afterwards. So for me, this is going to be their first red flag. So this is where I'd normally review the homepage. There is no homepage. Um, not everyone is going to want to buy from Ube in Jordan. So we'll go back to the Amazon page. This is a very normal looking Amazon page. Nothing special. Um, all the normal advertising copy you'd expect here with the normal claims, the normal vegan, um, non-GMO badges, etc. Uh, what I did find interesting um, were these videos that you can find at the bottom. Now, I can't play them because the sound is really, really low. Um, you may need to put headphones on if you listen to them. Uh, I found these interesting, and when I say interesting, I mean hilarious. You really do need to watch them. Um, there's a couple here, if you look at the camera work and the way these three shots at the bottom are framed. Um, remember the way that these videos look, because we'll come back to these in just a second. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, as with all Amazon products, you can see here that this was first available on the 12th of January 2021. So I thought between four and six months old, um, it looks like they've been selling on, Am on Amazon for about eight months. So not, not young as a company, um, not particularly old. And as I've said before, young doesn't necessarily mean bad. It just means they're a new company on the block. Uh, and every company was once a new company on the block. Most of the information on this page is normal, so not a red flag because most of the companies that sell on Amazon don't have much more than this kind of information anyway. So let's take a look at their product. Um, you can see there it says currently not available. You never know. They may be back. Um, if you look here, I found this interesting. 378 ratings, um, and although they get uh, 4.8 out of 5, um, the score that Amazon gives them is actually five stars. So five stars for a company that's been selling for eight months um, seems a little bit unbelievable. Let me know what you think. So no pictures on the back of the bottle, so we can't see any fillers, etc. Um, but if you look at the second picture here, you can see at the bottom, you've got the normal badges, non-GMO, gluten-free, um, GMP, etc. This one caught my eye, which is made in the UK. Now, if we go back to the application for the trademark, we know that the person that applied for the trademark is Li Xiaobing, and they're from Shenzhen in China. So I'm guessing that this company, like all companies, buy their NMN from China in bulk, and then they sell it on the other marketplaces. So why would they say made in the UK? This seems like it might be slightly misleading, maybe there to garner some kind of credibility. Let me know what you think about the um, made in the UK flag. So not available at the moment, five star rating um, for a company who's only been on the platform for eight months. Um, 
No access to the back of the bottle. Made in the UK badge when we know that the NMN is made in China. Um, I'm, I'm calling this the, the second red flag. So plenty of options to buy, lots of different amounts of the product. Let's see how much their NMN actually costs. Moving on to cost, if we look at the container here, you've got 60 500 milligram capsules. That's going to cost you $24.88. 60 500 milligram capsules works out at 30,000 milligrams or 30 grams. So that works out for Crebubble. Their NMN is going to cost you 82 cents a gram, which is extremely cheap. And to tell you the truth, I think that is, is far too cheap for nicotinamide mononucleotide. Most NMN companies who sell this quantity are around the $3 to $4 a gram mark. And this company is short, well short of a dollar a gram. Um, out of interest, let's look at the, the biggest bulk buy you can get. You can buy a pack of 10 uh, and that'll cost you $199.99. And if you buy that much Crubbubble NMN, that works out at 66 cents a gram. So again, that's insanely expensive compared to the normal three to four dollars a gram. So this for me is going to be their third red flag. Let's hope that their certificates of assay can save them. So I've checked um, Amazon, I've checked eBay, I've checked eBay, and as you can imagine, there is no third party test certificate. However, if you remember back to the beginning of the video and Daniel, who contacted me about this company, said that he did check. I'm now gonna throw up the email he sent and the graphs that he also sent. And you can see, you see here, he says, I've tested the NMN from brand Crew Bubble. He mentions Amazon and eBay. I've used conventional HNMR to evaluate peaks that should be present. I have access to lab equipment and a skilled chemist, but not a third party test lab, but a process development laboratory, laboratory where my colleagues work. You can see the spectrum from NR where the characteristic peaks um, should be and from the five ring that should also be present in NMN. The sample in the spectrum, which is in blue, according to my chemist, is not there. Also, the five ring is not present. Um, this shows that the Crubbubble powder is in fact fake. So, not a third party test certificate, but using proper equipment and a qualified chemist, I'm gonna call this um, the fourth red flag. So moving on, let's look at Trustpilot. I searched for Crebubble on Testpilot, and guess what, they weren't there. Um, they don't have a URL, such as a .com or a .org, so I couldn't check against Crebubble.com or .org. So in my humble opinion, it looks like this company don't want to leave any kind of digital footprint or an audit trail where they could be tracked down. So for me, this is gonna be the fifth red flag. So if you're looking for a new company or you're looking for your first NMN company, I hope that this review has helped. Let's go through the three headings I normally go through. Website, no website. They did have four, they've now got three third-party market sites, if you like, of which two are not selling the product anymore. No access to the back of the bottle, so we can't see if there's any fillers. 370 plus five-star reviews on Amazon seems a bit dubious to me. The made in the UK flag on the product holds absolutely no water for me whatsoever. No Trustpilot page, so they're gonna earn for that a zero out of 10. Certificates of analysis, nothing on any of the sites, not even the certificate that their manufacturer would have supplied them from China to show that it's correct, but we did have Daniel's certificate to show that there was no NMN present whatsoever. Even if you don't trust Daniel's certificate, they're not showing us any certificates, so that's easy, they're gonna earn zero out of 10. Cost, as cheap as 66 cents a gram. Um, when most reputable companies like Alive by Science and Do Not Age are struggling to get down to the three and four dollar mark. So with regard to cost, far too cheap, zero out of 10. That's gonna earn them no stars whatsoever. And if you think back to as we went through and I mentioned things that didn't seem quite right and we awarded red flags, then they're gonna get five red flags. So not a very good review. Let me know if you think I've missed the mark. Uh, I may have been too harsh. Um, as always, this is just my opinion. Um, you can take it 100%, uh, you can take a portion of it, or you can take it with a pinch of salt and completely ignore it. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. This is just my opinion. If Crew Bubble are watching and they think I've missed the mark, please feel free to reach out, open a dialogue. And if I have genuinely misread the situation or made a mistake, I will, I will put that right. Um, I personally wouldn't buy from this company. Let me know in the comments below if you would. Uh, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, 
Please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.